It comes up with it. Okay. Does it make sense? Oh, okay. Because yeah. in the next class, they just uh, they found out that JP Morgan just banned instant messaging. Now you would look at JP Morgan as a bank, right? Mm. Oh, hold up a second. It's not a high street bank. It's for yeah. investors. Investor, like investor, investor yeah. So the reason they will ban instant messaging may be because they don't want traders leaking out secrets, so trading yeah. secrets. Yeah. So as a result of that, it's very, very important for you to define who your target audience is. Ah, does it make sense? Your primary and your secondary target audience. All right. If I may ask you, why yeah. didn't you include that, what you just told us? Why because it's on the next slide. You do have to carry out a feasibility study. But as you're carrying out a feasibility study, you also want to identify your target audience. Okay. Does it make sense? Yeah? Now, we'll come so, to the gap analysis very soon, but let's do a feasibility you study before you define who your target audience is at. Okay? Is there any benefit right. um, to the existing system? Are we, are we finally dropping? That's what first mobile is. Yeah, first mobile what is we're saying is, is it is no, it it's, it's not, no, it's all well. They built it. It's live, but that has nothing to do with what we're building. That has nothing to do with it. We're no. talking about what we're building is an instant messaging um, um, application with a payment gateway plugged into it. it has nothing to do with first mobile. So we're just seeing what um, what we have available. Uh, that that is relevant to what we are talking about. It's a different. It's a whole different application entirely. When you're carrying out a feasibility study, you're asking yourself, based on what it is that we are trying to do, yeah. is there currently an existing system like it, just like it is on the board? If there is a current existing system like it, what are the drawbacks and benefits? There is no. Yes, there is no. Mm, that's no. not true. There because is. if you go on the First Bank website, for example, mm -hmm. you will find that they have web chat. They have a web version. They don't have it as an app, but they have a web version. And if you look at UK banks, for example, they have chat integrated into their mobile apps. But do they have a payment gateway system integrated into it? Is the, uh, is the chat application built to enable for groups, for broadcast, for one-to-one -one chat, for secret chats and stuff like that? But the other thing is the... The problem here is that what application are we building it based on? What what um, what are we building in the Telegram. 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 Yeah. Have you gone on Telegram to find out what Telegram does? Okay. You don't want to spend too much time doing things that have nothing that have absolutely nothing to do with the project you're working on. Okay. Who can access the bank from the internet? So how many of them have internet? Internet banking, mobile payments. Yeah. 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 Yeah.